Hello and welcome or welcome back to um, Small Talk, but actually in a turn of events, it's Fancy Blather bonus episode. So let's jump straight into our intro. Okay, so I wanted to start off this intro by just explaining a little bit this random bonus episode that's my first ever bonus episode. Um, basically, Naomi and I have just been mobbed this week with things going on, and um, I recorded this bonus episode, as you'll hear, on April 8th, so almost a month ago, I guess. So it's perhaps a little bit out of date, but I'm leaving it in anyway, and it's all about um, how do we define success. Um, yeah, so you can listen and tell me what you think. This is quite a short and sweet um, bonus episode, and yeah I don't know I just recorded it when I was on the two-week break doing my essay and stuff and I just felt the need to talk so I did and uh, here we are um and then also before we get jump into the episode I just want to wish a massive happy birthday to the icon that is Naomi if you're listening you are the most wonderful co-host that anyone could ever ask for such an incredible friend and I can't wait to hopefully see each other at some point this summer but I hope you're having the best day and uh yeah happy b day um so yeah um enjoy the episode please do join our facebook group follow us on instagram at fancy blether check out our website fancyblether.com and share review follow do all the things and yeah enjoy Hello, hello, and welcome or welcome back to <clears throat> Fancy a Blather. In an unexpected turn, I am recording a bonus episode on the two week break. Today is the 8th of April. It's actually 8 45 a.m. I know who is she. Look at me getting after it in my holiday. Um, yeah, don't worry though, everyone. I have relaxed a little bit. It's been kind of hard though because I have an assignment due on Monday on the 12th um, I'm just editing today so hopefully after that I will get a little bit of time off because I took a week off of Continue the Voice this week which is very exciting for those of you who are new to the pod and don't know um, I had edit and founded a digital magazine or zine called Continue the Voice so yeah um, so anyway let's just hop into what this bonus episode is all about because I got some things to say um yeah this is so funny this bonus episode just came by I like was thinking about it last night and like couldn't sleep for like <laughs> quite some time because it just was like replaying in my head it was really quite frustrating I did not have a good night's sleep as a real I should just recorded it last night but here we are it's fine so this episode is all about how we define success particularly how I defined it, define success, I suppose, but also how we as Gen Z slash millennials, basically people in our 20s at the moment and probably like early 30s, define success in today's world and landscape. And it's a funny one. So this came about because I was listening to Margot Lee's podcast, um, Working Title, which I am a massive fan of. Highly recommend if you haven't checked it out before. Um, so it came a little bit from that and then also yesterday I said something about like well I have to do that to be successful and then my dad said well that depends how you define success and I was like huh and it was real it was a real eye-opening moment for me I suppose because so I was like wow yeah why do I define success like that so basically this is the deal. Hopefully this will be quite a short episode because I I just wanted to make it because I was going to say because I wanted to start a conversation, but that's probably a little big headed. So because I want to be part of a conversation about this and um, we live. So we were the generation that grew up with like, so if we're talking like grew up, like we're talking like early childhood, primary school, um, if you're not from Scotland, I don't know, like from the age of birth till 11 or 12, I think. <clears throat> um, with like not much internet happening in the world. Like, yeah, we had the internet when we were kids, but not really. Like 
um I grew up with like limited computer time in my family like um in primary like we were only like one hour of computer time I can't remember if that was every day or every week or something but and that we just played games like I wasn't on you know what I mean like I wasn't on like social media didn't really exist and that wasn't really well I probably did like late primary school but we didn't know it hadn't it hadn't become big yet um yeah so we grew up with like without much awareness of um the digital world that we were going to end up in in 2020 2021 um and then adolescence hits so like teen our teenage years the years that are, are typically the most difficult time like high school is hard like it's a hard time not just like often academically for some people and not for others but socially I think it's hard for everyone like it's like I don't know it's it's a really hard time to go through I think everyone has had hard times at high school and all of a sudden social media exists out of nowhere and all of a sudden we as a generation are growing up without just the our peers our high school peers judging everything we do but with the whole world able to judge and see everything we do and in years to come like now we can look back and see these things and it's kind of it's like we didn't get the opportunity to grow up without that and I think that's had like a really um, adverse like negative effect on our generation um, because the thing is like I'm not that it's much better now but now there's like studies into it right now people know how addictive social media is. Now people know how problematic social media is, how much it can like impact your mental health and your brain and all these different things and how much negative impact it can have on teenagers, etc. And how much it can mess with like your insecurities. But we didn't grow up knowing that. Like nobody knew that. Our parents didn't know to like have us not go on it and we didn't know we were addicted to do you know what I mean like it's like this whole thing of we didn't know the harm that it was causing us but now people are more aware so as a result hopefully it's like it's more of a conversation and it just wasn't a conversation so all of a sudden you're growing up with like all these eyes on you and your your life but also you're seeing so many other people and it's so fake and you're like what like everyone's so together they're so successful and um, as a result I personally and I'm sure many people in this generation have come to define success as something really problematic in terms of something that like is based on the idea that you must always be doing something you must always be striving for something you need to always have multiple things happening and there's you know what I mean like hustle culture has become so so prominent in our generation and so so problematic and I really think that don't get me wrong like I think social media and the internet like especially social media can do wonderful things um but because everything is so digital now especially recently with the world pandemic um our whole lives are online nowadays essentially which is terrifying when you actually think about it and it just like blows my mind because the thing is like when our parents were our age it's like right you go to work you come home and you do like paperwork but like you read a book or you do like paperwork on actual paper and then you stop like you're done that's it but in our generation there's like this endless to-do list like you can always sit and find something to do digitally and there's always something you could be doing to improve your personal brand or your side hustle brand or your cv or your linkedin profile or whatever like there's always something available so it's extremely difficult to turn off in your 20s right now i just i something i personally really really struggle with is like not doing anything and it's something i really desperately need to work on because it's like very problematic but actually when i think about it i don't actually know how to relax like i almost need to go on holidays where there's like 
no access to the internet or really to like technology apart from maybe like to watch a dvd to truly like turn off because like i actually question like what did my parents do <laughs> like what did they do for entertainment isn't that just the bizarrest thing of all like i'm like what do you do though that's like that's messed up like there's so many things to do that aren't digital but it's hard to see that nowadays so yeah so basically i've come to define success as this thing where you should always be striving to do something and you should always be like multiple things at once essentially like it's like I can't just work in education. I also have to be podcasting and doing well at it. And I've really been working on that. And that is part of the reason why I took the break because I just don't want to podcast for the wrong reasons. Like I didn't start podcasting to be like an influencer. I hate that word anyway, or to have a big following or any of those things. I just started to be part of a conversation. I started it because we were in a lockdown and I miss talking to people. And I think that um conversations are where change always happens and or where change always starts I should say um and I don't know I I enjoy that and I enjoy being part of that and I enjoy having meaningful conversations with people and learning and it's such an important part of growing as a person and it's something I I was desperately missing in lockdown and that's why I started it and I started it because I want to be like a community and that's something we're working on and like to be a podcast that has a community and like the listeners like look out for each other and we're there for each other we give each other advice we like understand what life is like right now like particularly people our age I suppose so people in our 20s but also like we welcome everyone like you're all the door is open for all ages and on all everything you know what I mean um but I kind of lost sight of that because it's so easy to get wrapped up in this world where like you're just constantly seeing the success of others but actually it's not necessarily success because why are we defining that as success but like numbers and having big followings and everyday people posting things about like their new project or how well their business is doing or how well this is or how well that is and I just like it's just so fake because it's not the reality and the reality is that um like when our parents were in their 20s like they weren't seeing the whole world successes every five seconds of the day they weren't seeing all the highlights of people's lives every second of the day when I really turned on their phone like they didn't even have mobile phones probably and maybe I'm being my parents aren't that old but do you know like my actually but my dad said that he had radios when he started working so like that's massive like you now have this device that's everywhere and I just I just can't get over the fact that like it's so hard to train yourself to recognize as well that that isn't real because it it's all we've known for so long that it kind of feels real and um it's like oh you must always be striving to do the next thing with continue the voice and there you must always be doing this and always be doing that and there's this unbelievable pressure to be not good at one thing but good at multiple things and that's where like side hustles come in and you know I'm all for side hustles and I don't think there's anything wrong with them as long as they're done healthily but I don't think that having a side hustle should like reflect whether you're successful or not but yesterday that's exactly what I was saying and that's like wait a minute like where did that come from like I need to unpack that a little bit more so that's what we're doing right now because it should be enough to just have a job like why is that not enough and personally like I'm not gonna stop doing the things I do in my spare time because I do them because I love them and I really need to get back to the root of that and remind myself of that but it's also like why isn't that enough for people like why is that no longer enough to just be doing the one thing and like it's not like things have changed in terms of monetary things because my parents were saying well no because yeah house costs less and rent costs less etc but your pay was less so it's all um what's the term term it's all re like relative right so really inflation hasn't really changed 
that significantly like my parents said it was just as hard when we were in our, in our 20s to get things and I was like that's interesting so like why is it such a big deal now and it's because it's become so normal to work three jobs and to have side hustles and to film your life and to I don't know share your life and get paid to share your life and your successes and although we are trying to normalize this like honest culture and this um transparent culture and raw culture and like taking away the filters of social media the reality is that that can never truly happen because it's only a segment of your life and it only ever will be and the reality is that people don't want to film themselves crying at two in the morning people don't want to I don't know talk about what they're going through when they're going through it because you need time to process and go through it yourself before you want to share it because people don't want to be vulnerable why would you want to be vulnerable on the internet with lots of people you've never known and you may never meet so it's like a really odd thing because it's like you think you know people but you don't that's really deep but like I don't know it's just uh it's crazy and we all do it like I do it like I don't post on Instagram when I'm having a shitty day saying oh today sucked like I don't know because I'm processing that I'm dealing with that like that's my life but I don't want to share all of my life on the internet but I'm not an I'm not somebody who's ever wanted to do that though I suppose I share a lot on this podcast but this just feels different to me because it's my voice and it's on my face and I don't know it's easier to be vulnerable on the podcast but yeah I just wanted to talk about how we define success and like where that's gone wrong Because I said to my dad, well, how do you define success? Like, what does it mean to you? And he just said, so wholesome, but but also also so true. And like, why don't I define it like that? He said, enough money to get by, which is fair enough. I mean, I think that's important in order to like survive in the world. Um, to have friends and family who respect him, which is massive. But I think that's part of the problem with like social media because my dad means like literally an in person respect him. You know, like he's not on like he's on Facebook, but he never posts. Like he posts like the occasional photo when they go on holiday, but that's not why his friends respect his life. Like it's different. Like they actually know the real him. Um, not this like social media identity even though that is part of who you are but um if you like respect him and care for him and I was like oh, okay and that's like why can I not want things like that and like to be happy and those were like the things that he defined as success and I was like hmm because the reality is I think I have the, well I don't really I don't really have the enough money to get by done thing done yeah but like I'm a student like hopefully by August I'll have that one done but like hmm like I have those things I'm like obviously I'm not happy 24 7 but that's not what he meant he just meant like I don't know just caring for yourself and finding moments like no one's happy 24 7 that's not reality and I was like well then I am successful surely by definition so why do we not feel successful? Why do we only feel successful if we're like the first ever 20 year old to do, to be a head teacher, to be um, in government, to do this, to do that, to do this, to do that, which are all amazing things and epic things. And if you have done those things, like congratulations, it's very impressive, but that should not like, I that's like an anon, a non a non um, oh I can't say that word anomaly and um we shouldn't define ourselves based off of anomalies that happen in the world like that's not what it's all about like ugh it's so hard to get out of that mindset of like thinking that to be successful you need to have so many things and have done so many things when really you're not even doing all the things because you want to you're doing them because you feel like you have to because we've grown up in this digital age where everyone is like being watched 24 7 essentially in some way or another it feels like it and we feel this undeniable pressure to behave in a certain way and to do certain things with our lives 
and it's really hard to get over that discourse and like I'm not saying that I'm doing anything in my life that I don't want to be doing but I'm saying that I can get really in my head and be very aware of how I'm portraying myself online and beyond and it's like one of those things because like that's what future employers look at right and that's what they tell you oh don't post that because your future employer might see that oh be careful what you put on your Facebook because your future employer might see it be careful what your profile picture is because your future employer might see it if my future employer has a problem with me having a glass of wine when I'm 24 like and smiling and laughing with my friends then I'm not interested in working for them like I we need to get over this whole like well be careful what you put out there be careful what you put out there be careful what you put out there because then we are only putting the highlights of our lives out there and people think it is real and especially when we're younger we do think that and now maybe not as much we're more aware of it but we're still falling for the trap and I still fall for it all the time and I fell for it so bad when I was a teenager and I think that's a massive reason why our mental health is so goddamn awful um as teenagers in our generation like I would not be surprised if social media had a massive impact on that and I just think like it needs to stop somehow like we need to change the pattern we need to change the discourse and we need to we need to define success in our own way and we need to stop with this hustle go 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 20 miles per hour only showing the best parts I don't know like that's just not real life and I'm tired of seeing it and I'm tired of being part of it and it just shouldn't be how the world works so I guess yeah this is just kind of a rant of an episode (laughs) but I just wanted to talk about it because it's been on my mind and I needed to get it off my mind so here we are so yeah I mean we try and be as honest and raw as we can within reason you know I like to keep some of my life private just because it's my life but um on our on our Instagram hilarious I just made a whole episode talking about like how we define success through social media and through the internet and here I am plugging a social media account but I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm a hypocrite so check out our Instagram at fancy blather you can also check out our website www.fancyblather.com if you want to help your gals out, Naomi and I, um, buy us a coffee because we do sometimes have to burn the midnight oil for this podcast. We do it because we love it though. Like that's something I'm trying to get back to and remind myself of and take the pressure off myself. Um, but if you do want to be kind and buy us a coffee, we'd really appreciate it. I love a good coffee. So we actually now have a Kofi, um, that's K-O-F-I page. And uh, yeah, feel free to go ahead and buy us a coffee. We'd be forever grateful. We split our coffees 50-50. And stay tuned for the rest of the season. I'm really looking forward to the conversations to come on this season. We have some epic guests coming up who I'm really excited to talk to and to learn from. And that's what this podcast is all about. It's all about just learning and talking about the realities of life in your 20s and what people learned in their 20s about the realities of life for people that we have on that are older than 29 nowadays and um that's what it's about so if you enjoyed this bonus episode then that's what we chat about so feel free to stay tuned for more and um yeah let's keep it honest let's keep it transparent let's keep it real and uh you define your own success however you like but um take a second to step back and consider how do I actually define success like not how do I want to define success but how have I been defining it because you might surprise yourself and realize you got some work to do like me so <laughs> thank you so much for listening and uh it's been a joy to have this rant with you all and uh yeah I'll see you on our next real episode so thanks for listening and have a good week bye Okay, and that was this week's episode. Thank you so much for listening along. 
If you want to stay up to date with all things Fancy of Leather, you can head to Instagram and check out at Fancy of Leather. You can also head to our website, fancyofleather.com. Please do leave us a review, follow us on Spotify, share the podcast, do all those different things. And uh, yeah, you will hear from me and Naomi next week. Have a good week. Bye. Thank you.